this year's team is a mixture of rookies as well as veterans and it's going to be a tough outing for us I believe but I know that we can accomplish what we're here to do and it's to, it's to move up in the ranking. Airline. It was a pleasure having uh, the New Jersey Lightning uh, baseball team on our flight. Uh, it was a joy having you guys. Um, I hope we fly again. I really do, and I can't wait to see you guys on YouTube. <laughs> To the streets, the roar of the crowd, while the world. Yeah, that's right. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> it was always a dream of mine after playing with so many teams from around the country uh, to get something like this going for the wonderful state of New Jersey. So the sponsors in which helped to put this on and to bring us here to the World Series, the uh, ABA and J Associated Blind Athletes, I said, look, we're going to just give you the task of getting things started. We want to basically have a competitive team. It's never enough for the team. I just wish I can give, give more than what I'm doing right now. And I just say, uh, have so much heartfelt love for this team. State representatives from Minnesota, the Minnesota Millers. I love most about this game is just the competitive nature of the sport, being able to be someone who's blind and visually impaired and still being able to compete uh, on that level that, you know, a lot of folks don't give us enough credit for. And Welcome New Jersey to the 2014 Beatball World Series. Good morning. Right leg straight out, stretch that out. Take it and kind of bend it behind you. Kind of lean back, get that stretch. Backward. First. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually worked with Elvis, who passed away, and he got me interested in it. And kept nagging me and nagging me until I decided to show up to a practice and uh, I came and I fell in love with it. Mm. The team and um, I, I really felt welcomed on the team even though I don't have a history of playing you know, competitive sports and everyone was patient and kind and you know, it's great, it really is great. I mean, these guys have accepted me as you know one of them and uh, it's, it's been such a great experience that uh, you know, I don't even have words for it. Being with a team and feeling like being part of a team, um, these guys are like the brothers I never had, so it's kind of like an extended family. Of course they can hear it.
up, Amy. Come where you are, man. Paper and I saw something about uh, baseball for the blind, and I said, Doug, I said, they actually have a, a sports team for the blind. So he called up and he can take a few. Well, it turned out to be Sherlock Washington, and I knew Sherlock, and uh, I called him and uh, showed up for a practice and loved it. And I said to my wife, This is something I really want to play. Always loved baseball ever since I was a kid, and uh, this was the first time I'd had a chance to play a game since I had become blind. Doug, I just wanted to know what makes you come back to play beat baseball year after year. I'll tell you, Lamont, it's 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 meeting new guys like yourself, and just feeling like even though I could be almost your grandfather, I hate to admit that, but. Uh, I just love the competition, and I love uh, well, I love the sport of baseball. I, I loved it as a kid, and I love it now. That uh, even though I'm blind, I can I can play a competitive team sport again. This is great, and and meeting you guys, it's it's like it makes me feel young again. You know, I'm okay. I'm 61 years old, but uh, I feel like uh, I feel like a kid. <laughs> He's off on the sidelines. He's off on the sidelines. Oh, he's got a little comfort here. How many guys you have with you? Uh, we've got nine. Perfect. Twelve. We've got twelve, see? Three more than we. Yes. We're going to line up on the foul line when you go out on the field. Yes. And we're going to check a representative from uh, the opposite team can come over and check each one of the blindfolds before we go out on the field. Okay. Yes. After we do that and start heading out on the field, I don't want anybody touching their blindfolds at all. Yes, sir. If there's sweat coming down their face, if there's sweat coming down the face and they need to adjust the blindfolds, call time. Good. And if they touch it, I understand. I understand. Under no circumstances. Well, what is the penalty? Uh, the penalty is going to be a warning at first, and then they're out on the field. Uh, I gotta look that up. I'm hoping you're getting that. I am. Yeah, we, we know that. We, we're, we're working with professionals over here, so we know that that's not gonna happen. So, very long week for us. It is. Up against Long Island. We know. We know how they play. Mm -hmm. They know how we play. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We're ready, y'all. Uh, and we try to make a goal for this year. We want the year. That's right. That's what you guys have been working all year for. All right? This is the big thing. <coughs> So okay. what I want to do is to make sure that everybody just make sure two hands are on the ball, the ball, the ground is wet, as we all know. Just play it and make sure we have a lot of communication that was being done over the last couple of days. We have to keep that up. All right, call the name, person's head, who's behind. Go ahead, Michael. Also, I had the text we put today, good luck, play hard, play safe. This name, this name, Tanner, Jimmy on the field. Okay. Lamont, Rich, Omar, and Alfonso. Okay. Same place you guys were before, on the count of three. Lightning strike, lightning strike. Lightning boom. boom. All right, there we go. Just sing that for Rich's son. Here we go. <laughs> On a count of three. One, two, three. Lightning strike! Lightning strike! Lightning boom! Set. Ready, pitch. 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 Doug, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Doug, you okay?
right? Got what it takes to do what we need to do to be here, so that's great. The bat first, guys. All right, but that means that we get the opportunity to draw first blood. And uh, put the pressure on. If we put the pressure on them, they're the ones that have to worry about us, man. Got it. Got it. Slide down. Slide down. All right, please, please listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. It only will take one. Guys, focus. It will only take one. We got three guys coming up right now. No, that each and every one of you have it in you to do this. Each and every one of you. Introduced by Steve Roach, and um, he told me they go to the World Series yearly, and it's giving you the opportunity to run against to run full speed and just to be an athlete again. And once I heard about that, I wanted to take advantage of it, and since then I've been loving it. I got two of my boys. I got one of my boys is Sean, and then he got one of his boys, Fonzo, and here we are now. Wonderful work. What's your most yeah. memorable moment coming to this big baseball team? Um, I have to say what you said, same as you said, like, once I lost my vision, I will never think I could be in a competitive sport again. Just be able to run full speed. Actually, that's the most memorable moment, getting to run full speed to that base for the first time. That was, that was one of my favorite moments. <laughs> I don't talk, I just get out and ready to play, man. My game, I love it. I love to be baseball. It's a fun experience for me, losing my vision. I never knew they had a sport for vision here at Long Beach until I got into the deep baseball. I love my teammates, we're our family, so. This game is that it's like family. There's so many of us, and we come from all different parts of Jersey. And we all come together for one common goal, and that's to be good in this sport. I mean, not everybody has an opportunity to be around people like them and be in a moment like this. Um, all of 
us, we all again visually here, but the way we come together is just so right. And this, being in this team makes me love this sport even more. When the whistle blows, the people wait for a sign. Defensively, just try to stay solid and, and try to hit that ball as hard as I can. Celebration on this stage From the beaches to the streets The roar of the crowd while the world is watching I shot it, yeah. Yeah, good. Guys, listen, nothing, nothing, nothing must get past. Nothing must get past. All right, we're going to move up on it. When we know they're deep, we get behind it. All right, when we call your names, move out to the ball. Both hands on the ball. Pick it up. Pick it up. Put it away from your body, body, body. All right. When I say deep, when I say deep, you say fit. Ready? Deep, fast, deep, fast, deep, fast, guys. What if the wrestling match? Once again, bombers. Well done. Once again, bombers. You know what? <laughs> Nobody asked where you were because I wanted to hit you. Oh, you were. Oh, That's what I wanted. Yeah, you put me out. Good game, brother. Good game. 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 One of the players that is not with us this year, Elvis De Jesus, passed away earlier this year and in his memory we retired his number eight team and are also in, with going with him in memory wearing pins during the tournament this week. Elvis De Jesus, April 12th, New Jersey Lightning. Eleanor Wolf, mother of Jim Wolf of Kansas, December 12th. And Claire Stahlkup of the Wichita Sonics, July 31st, 2013. So I'm Evie, I'm Elvis De Jesus' sister, and I'm really proud and happy to just say a couple words for him and to New Jersey Team Lightning, who's actually been amazing um, with my brother and myself, and he just loved his team and he loved his teammates, and he always looked forward to the tournaments and the practices and, and your trips, and he was just so proud to be number eight, and we were just so proud to be there with him and root him on. And, when he was with you guys and he just felt like it was his own family. The New, Jer New Jersey Lightning team gave him hope, gave him so much energy and something to look forward to and it gave him so much happy memories and, and forever he will be grateful and we will be grateful to New Jersey Lightning. He, you know, one of his biggest dreams was to go to the Dominican Republic and, and bring this team, this sport to, to the visually impaired over there and bring new possibilities and hope to them and even though Elvis has passed on, his spirit lives with us, with the team, and you guys have done a great job keeping him his memory alive. And thank you, New Jersey Lightning team. You're part of my family. As always, Elvis will be part of yours. Thank you.